Hello everyone, this is ASMRF today. Welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial, and today I'll show you Bangladeshi model fashion photography editing. That means uh, this one was a photograph of uh, Johnny Brothers, and big thanks to him for this photo. And the main image was like that. So I'll show you how to make the image like that. That means this type, this type of effects, and I'll make that preset and how to make that preset and how to apply that preset. I'll show you and. Uh, I'll give you that preset download link free of cost so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first I'll go to the file and open up here is the image non editor image and I'll make change of this image at first make copy by pressing ctrl J for the safety purpose or backup purpose and then I'll use or edit this photo or this layer layer one and then go to the filter and camera filter this camera filter is plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version and you can use these plugins in a cs version as well so if you want to get the download link of this filter you can check out my video description so from here here is a small menu go to the load settings options it is the bd fashion and teal orange and teal and hit the open button you'll get the preset and let's see what I have done and what was the settings so in this panel this one is a basic panel and then the tone curve and detail HSL and other stuff so at first in the basic options you're getting here the exposure that is the point three zero and the contrast minus eight and highlights minus 59 for the like uh, yellow lights and the shadow plus 65 for the other mn lights and blacks minus 14 and the clarity plus 3 and variance minus 26 and the saturation minus 2 let's go to the tone curve here i'm just using the point 1 and here i'll three or four things that means three uh, primary colors or basic colors red green and blue and the rgb the mix up one so the blue one the point was like that i'll just lock it over here and just curve like that and then the green up portion so and then blue portion and then rgb portion so you can just got these type of things so then the detailing i just make the detail of amount or sharpening of amount that is the 64 and the luminance of noise reduction that is 22 this noise reduction for that if you capture the photograph in a night or night mood photography you have to make the iso high and that time you got some grain over there if you make the noise reduction or uh, you can increase the value it will gone and don't make it 50 or 50 plus otherwise your photograph will destroy so now the hsl panel uh, here is the hue saturation and luminance three things that's why hsl and here uh, hue of the red that is the plus 53 and saturation plus seven and luminance i didn't touch that and orange that is minus eight and hue of the orange minus eight saturation minus 21 luminance i didn't touch that but uh, the blue luminance i just make it minus 11 so yellow color i didn't touch that but green color i make it minus 6 aqua plus 33 and blue hue i just made it minus 40 minus 40 if you make it minus value it will be more aqua color this one is this type of color so in the saturation as well aqua i just made it down minus 30 and the blue minus 32 and that's all so after that the tone or split toning so split toning value that is the hue value that is a 299 and the saturation plus 13 or 13 that's good and uh, that is the highlight options and shadow options i just made it like a value that is the 278 and the saturation like 14 and i didn't do the lens correction here the fx option i made it dehaze like that so plus 71 if you make it like that it will be like that but i just make it like that so this one was 71 the amount i didn't use that and after that the main thing that is the camera calibration so here three primary colors red green and blue so the red primary hue that is the 
plus 6 to 3 saturation plus 45 and the primary green color plus 34 and minus 23 is the saturation and the hue minus 51 and the plus 48 so that's all and this one was the settings of this camera settings and show you the before one and after one so before one was like that and after one you are getting like that and hit the ok button so it's done you are getting these type of amazing things so if you want you can apply another like uh, ambient light or like uh, filters if you want to willing to do that please press ctrl j and you'll get another layer and then go to the filter again and the nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins of the photoshop and lightroom as well so if you want to get download link of uh, color effects pro 4 please check out my video description i'll give the download link over there so from here lots of presets and lots of filters over there and here is a cross processing and i'll use the perfect one which one is the perfect for this image i think this one this one or this one which one is perfect for you you can use it for my case i'm using the b02 and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and it depends on the pc configuration and then you'll get the final output here so the before one was like that and after one was like that so let's see another image so how to uh, use it properly so go to the file and open up suppose this one is your image and you want to apply my preset in this photograph so you have to make the copy by pressing ctrl of this layer then go to the filter and camera filter before that you have to install the camera filter in your um, uh, pc or the photoshop if you are the user of the cs version otherwise you are getting this one by default in a creative cloud version so go to the small menu and load settings options and just load this xmp file that is a bd fashion till so open it up you'll get the setting over here and you are just changed the filters that was the before one and after one and then hit the ok button you got the output of this one final output and if you need you can add another filter so press ctrl j and then go to the filter again and nick collection so another plugins for these plugins download link please check out my video description so after that you have to choose the proper filter from here if you need you can choose that and I, i'll use this one and hit ok so it will load it up and give you the final output so this one is the simple process to apply my preset and how to make your photograph more amazing so those who are the photographer in this field and um, this channel uh, i hope that uh, it will help you a lot if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the plugins and the other stuffs please check out my video description and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye